is fucked. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. In we what have way? To actually, buy a new one. Oh. What's so bad about it? What's going on right now? Well, the back has been broken for a while. Okay. <laughs> and the cushioning has been gone for two years. And oh. the little thing that raises it up and down hasn't worked for two years. And I've been like sitting on pillows and shit. <laughs> It's just not working anymore. So you're basically just sitting on a bundle of sticks right now. Yeah. <laughs> a, a piece of plywood on wheels yeah. with pillows. It's basically my chair and duct tape uh, to nice. keep it held together because yeah. that's important. My chair is breaking as well, actually. That's a weird coincidence. My left arm thing is broken, but it's not so bad. I keep putting the screw back in. Yeah. yeah. The it's arm all good. Thing. I don't really like it. How's your chair, things. Brazil? What? How's, How's your chair? chair? I guess it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to complain about. <laughs> no chair related issues for Brazil. Yeah. I don't really like the arm things on the chair, though. They kind of annoy me. What do you, you do? Like with, you do? Without them, I feel like I'm just going to like fall out of the chair or something. I don't know. Yeah. It feels weird without arm things on the chair. Interesting. Interesting. Did you try to turn it off and on again? That's in relation to the chair. Yes, I did. I tried turning the chair on and off. It, it just didn't work. Oh, that's not good. That's that's suboptimal. Mm -hmm. Suboptimal uh, kind of chair play. I really just need more duct tape, and it'll be fine. Yeah, it, it, you'll get. But at what point does it stop being a chair, and then it becomes a kind of elaborate uh, duct a tape bundle sculpture? Of duct tape. Yeah, it's pretty close. That's it's a deep close. philosophical question that I think we all we all have to ask ourselves. Hmm. So, what happened in Guild Wars Two this week? There was, Tons of news. Yeah, there wasn't anything that happened in the game. <laughs> that is true. I think. Nothing in the game, it's yeah. true. But to be fair, just that is like... because we are just about to have an expansion. If the that would be pretty crazy if they were just still putting things in the game one week before launch. Yeah, well, I mean, one Halloween week. Would nice. yeah. one Halloween week, would have been awesome. Uh, would have given mm. me more time to get those shoulder pieces. I'd already have them. Ooh. Yeah. So is Halloween being released at the same time as HOT? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, which is kind of weird. At the exact uh, same time. Mm. Some people are even saying that they. Are gonna play Halloween instead of HOT, which is I am. interesting. <laughs> I am. Well, I think oh, my friend, uh, you know, Slaylock was positing that uh, the reason they're doing that is just in case there are a ridiculous amount of bugs with HOT. There's always <laughs> Halloween that people can do to fall back on. Right, but Halloween would still have been there even if they released it like tomorrow, for example. Let's say. Yeah, except no, people already get tired of Halloween probably. Oh, in I a don't. Week. In a week. I really, probably, like, I really. Are you kidding me? You're going to be grinding your ass off for two weeks. Yes, grinding, but that doesn't mean you're not tired of it. I, okay. There's no grind in this game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. They're, I, I love the fact that they're releasing, they're re releasing the, uh, the original dungeon from Halloween. Ah, oh, so good. <laughs> That's probably going to have to do with some of the grinding. Mm. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Do you think? But they're not bringing back the chainsaw, are they? I hope they do. Because okay. I used to have one. Yeah. You guys heard the story. I heard yeah. the story. But, <laughs> but would you mind telling it again? Because I forgot. Yeah. For everyone that hasn't heard this already, I had a great saw, great sword. The first Halloween, I bought it for forty gold, and then I mystic forged it. And some of you guys out there may be saying this was this was well before the wardrobe patch, by the way. Some of you guys out there may be saying, hey, contact support. They'll give it back to you. I already did that, and they said they couldn't prove it was on my account. So I'm fucked. I'm never going to have a great song again. To try again. Uh, yeah, I should try just, again. Just keep doing it until they say yeah. yes. Yeah, D just to go into different pseudonyms as well. And then just create yeah. and, and then ask, you know, you, you know, you guys should really give Brazil his great song back. And, and yeah, then they'll yeah. be pressured into it. You know, I mean, I, so I sold people. the jetpack for actual gold, but you should give that back as well, just because. Mm. I mean. Well, now it's worth. Uh, wait, what the hell? Oh, are what's... you really gonna do that here? What's he doing? What's going on? I don't see that properly. I don't, I don't know. 
Why is that on the stream? Yeah. What is this? He's building a PlayStation in front of us or something? This is, it's his cosplay. Oh, him. his his Halloween costume? Yeah. Wait. Okay. Wow. Hello. Hello. What, oh, uh, why did you why did you stuff? Uh, can, <laughs> hold on a second. I'm going to find something, a picture real quick. And is it view image? Ooh, I could post stuff in chat, right? Link? Yes. Okay, so a restless asked to show Halloween costume or riot. So I will do that. This is what this is what I'm going to try to go as for Halloween. And <laughs> you're gonna have and, a mullet. Uh, yeah. Check it out. <laughs> <laughs> got the mullet wig ready. Okay. I got. Uh, I got, uh, I went yeah. to the thrift store and I got myself a nice little 80s looking t-shirt for underneath. My my normal jacket is pretty much the jacket that guy has, I just gotta roll up the sleeves. Uh, I found also at the thrift store a nice pair of Ashes Acid Wash jeans. Uh, it doesn't have a button, I'm gonna have to sew that on. Uh, also, also I found these guys. This is this is all stuff Inks used to wear, right? <laughs> Back in the day. Um, what else? This this I got a mustache, but I don't think I really need it. I could just shave. Um, and what else? An old keyboard, which I'm gonna glue this thing onto. I don't know what this is. <laughs> it's a TV antenna. It's a TV antenna. I think it is. Yeah, but right on top of there somehow. Walk around with this, and then, last but not least, I found I found like chainmail gauntlets, fake not fake chainmail, like little whatever. So I painted it. It's gonna be, uh. <laughs> with, and then I'm gonna put like this on here, and I'm gonna cut this open somehow and put that on there. And make my own power glove. It's gonna be pretty good. It's gonna be pretty good. <sighs> Dedicated. This is the first time I've ever actually tried to make a Halloween costume. Every other time I would go as something that was like the laziest thing I could possibly think of. Last last uh, year I went as John Oliver because a lot of my friends say I look like John Oliver. So I just wore a suit. Um, and uh, so this year's going to be good. This year's going to be good. What do you do when people say, "What? who are you? I say John Oliver. Well, that's the problem because last year... <laughs> John Oliver wasn't like huge as he is now, so maybe only twenty percent of people knew who it was. That was kind of lame, actually. That's why I'm actually gonna do that. And even if people don't know what that is, it's still really fun to look at. So, fair yeah. enough. It's tough. Go. So back to Guild Wars Two, I guess. Hmm. Halloween. <laughs> oh yeah, that's what we're talking about. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's, it's it's a sensible segue. Yeah, too spooky for me. Um, mm -hmm. Yes, there's lots of spooky things that will be coming back. Spooky skins, and spooky yeah, things. Yeah, so that that um, I don't know if you get what did you guys grind a lot back when uh, that first dungeon came out? Yeah, because I, I, I remember so. not me. I didn't do it. That was a crazy amount. But... I did it a lot. And that the labyrinth my... too. Level fucking ninety oh. skeletons. <laughs> well, that's it. With the labyrinth, the labyrinth, what I did was I just leveled all of my alts yeah. in the labyrinth. So I, I was able to level like four alts to eighty just from the labyrinth, which is quite nice. Is the labyrinth coming back too? Yeah, I, I think so. I, I would I guess. guess. It, I would expect so. Yeah. I bought the bat greatsword. Yes. I mean, it's tempting, for Reaper, obviously, for yeah. and the yeah, and it's the synergy tempting. as well. And I the realize yeah. there's a PvP title called Reaper. You get it at wow. rank 69, and I'm like rank 67 right now, so I'm gonna have to do that too. Oh. Someone asked, "What about the hair?" Oh, okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah. The ultimate Reaper. I, I still haven't done the clock tower. But you haven't done the clock really? tower. Nope. Why not? At I hate all? jumping puzzles. Oh, oh, geez. Okay. oh. Okay. It, but what if, it's challenging group content because loads of people have to it's, do it at once. It's going to be part of the shoulders. 
<laughs> it definitely will be. So mm -hmm. I'll have to do it. That's yeah. fine. So you, you don't have the Mad King boots yet, then? Nope. But they look. They look. Like they're they're not a different they're the, skin. Though. They're the oh, same they're skin. Yeah. 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 They're not special. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, so so if the Mad King is gonna be in the dungeon, I don't. Maybe right. the labyrinth isn't gonna come back because how's he gonna be to two places at the same time? He was the last time. Magic. Yeah. Yeah. He, he's he's the Mad King. He can do what he wants, man. Yeah. <laughs> He's a great character. Yeah. I don't think there's going to be any prince this year. Yeah. The prince was too emo for me. Mm. It was, you know, like it was interesting, sun? but I don't think it was as good as just Mad King Thorn. Yeah. He's too, he's too I wish they, they brought the book back. Yeah. I, oh, I, yeah. I don't have my books anymore. Hopefully uh, next year. You can use it to uh, do the Eternal Battlegrounds uh, jumping puzzle yeah, with, in the dark. <laughs> Without the torch, yeah, yeah. I think you can probably use Incinerator to do that as well, though. You can use a couple and, of things. Yeah, there's a, a decent number of things. I, I think, yeah, yeah. Last the first year, Halloween, that dungeon was the first time I ever, uh, the first time I like hang out with wooden potatoes for an extended period of time, and that's because he was doing the dungeon. For twenty like twenty eight hours straight, he did that dungeon. <laughs> wow. Did not sleep. <laughs> was dedicated. Twenty eight hours straight, dedicated. so that I would I would like come in for a couple of hours every once in a while. I'd be like, "You're still on? Did you go to sleep? Nope, <laughs> nope, he did not." <laughs> wow. So I think I might have done it five or six times or something. I don't hmm. even know. It wasn't that many. Yeah. <clears throat> Why? It's pretty funny. Why were you farming it so many times? I actually just can't really remember. What was the point? Why? Because you... that's why we got the skins. chance to drop the skins. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, okay. and also just a bunch sense. of other stuff. Yeah, but the skins yeah. were the big thing. I, mean, I did it a few times, but not very much. Yeah. Mm. Anyway, looking forward to it. Yeah, I mean, we didn't have the wardrobe back then, so those skins weren't as important to me. They were and cool. they weren't. Yeah, I think they were like a hundred gold you could sell them for at the most. I mean, that was still quite a bit of money, but you know, knowing RNG, I was just like, ah, fuck it, who cares? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, same here. That's why I only did it for a few times. Mm. Not Boy, how that's changed in three years. Yeah. They're <laughs> worth quite a lot now, as it turns out. Yeah. How much is the great sword right now? <laughs> Over 3,000. It's like 38. Holy crap. I would get you... one, and I would trade it for a jetpack. For the how, fast jet do you think, yeah. how fast do you think that price will drop? As soon as the first great sword drops, it'll immediately be a thousand gold, or someone's gonna mm -hmm. fill a buy order and make a lot. It'll be like yeah. final rest. Final rest. The first person to put it on the trading post put it up for like a thousand gold, and then it was like ten gold, like within the week. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Jesus. It was dropping a ridiculous amount then, though, too, as well. But and now it, it hardly drops ever. Yeah. 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 Well, we'll have to see. Speaking of. Speaking of drop rates, what do you think about the uh, the econ economy discussion that got posted on the the forum with uh, was it with uh, John Smith? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. You know, I think so, that the the whole economy thing is we really don't know any details other than they're going to be watching the market. Uh, they're going to be nerfing some of the salvage rates for some things. They're going to be upping the salvage rates for other things. And they're going to be redistributing the liquid gold from dungeons into fractals and raids. We don't know by how much. We don't know exactly what items. I mean, we really don't know a lot. And a lot of people in the community, or a good deal at least, were, you know, a bunch of chicken littles. The sky is falling. The end times. <laughs> the dark times. Burn everything. Yeah. This is I think we can safely say houses. that we're always chicken littles whenever any news comes out. Yeah. It's pretty accurate. Yeah, it's just, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's, when you're actually confronted with it, you'll think, oh, well, it's not that bad. Anyway, you can just I do mean, fractals. Get, and, and who knows what they have in store for fractals? I do. D oh, you okay. do? Yeah. Okay. What do they have in store for fractals? Yeah. Uh, well, other than the stuff that's got released already, because I don't know any other things that we don't already know. But they're going to make it like one shard per level. So getting to level 100 is something you can probably do in a day if you're really dedicated. Oh, wait, so it's one shard per level. Yeah, and it's set all the time. Oh. So, like, level 52 will always be the same fractal. 
Mm, huh, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. But I, I was huh. kind of thinking, you know, who knows what manner of rewards they will throw at you once you do your hundred every gold, day. Gold reward. Yeah, gold right. and stuff. Yeah. And also drops. They'll probably give you, like, five gold for level 100. There you go. But what else? What else would they give you? Yeah. Skins. Skins and That's stuff. That's an issue? There's a title. There's going to be a title for people that are already level 50, which is a surprising amount of not people. Is there? Yeah. I've heard that that's going to be the case. That's, that's, cool. that that's good for them. I like that. I guess I should have hit 50 before... Uh... You have a week. <laughs> you have a week. Go. Go for it, Inks. That sounds painful. Yeah. <laughs> Is there anybody in the chat willing to carry inks to level 50? <laughs> it's, it's quite all right. You don't need to carry me. No. I just won't have that title. It's all good. Well, you can just pay okay. for it. Just buy yeah. fractals all the way to... Mm. Yeah, that wouldn't actually even cost that much, would it, to be honest? To just... 20, 20 gold for a 50. What do you mean? Well, you don't have to. You only have to buy a 50, like, nine times. Yeah, mm. but what was a 40 is still, like, 10, right? Yeah. Hey, well, you, you make a small amount of that back as well. Uh, not really. Not really. <laughs> not currently. If you get an ascended piece, you make it all back. Yeah. Make, make it a little yeah. bit back. A little bit. A little bit. Um, well, if you get a, a chest or a weapon, like an armor or a weapon, then you you like it's it's good. You just and nowadays it doesn't matter what weapon you get because you can change it. Yeah. So, yeah, it's great. It is great. The quality of life of a fractal person has never been higher. Have they implemented? I forget. They said they were going to. Have they? I know they implemented a way to change your armor and weapons and stuff. But have they implemented a way to do something with your rings? Yeah, you're going to be able to salvage them. Yeah, that's it. I think yeah. so. That's it. Um, oh. Which is really good. I mean, most well, people. I, I, well, it, it 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 depends. Yeah, I mean, it's better than deleting them, right? Depends what you get for it. Do you just? I get... used to just sell them. I probably sold like five bank tabs worth of rings <laughs> for like five silver each. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just think, just think how much money, like liquid gold, you could have made with all that fractal running you've done compared to thorns. Liquid gold. Liquid gold. Salvaging for legendary back pieces in armor says wrestlers. Yeah. Would would you say that you've done more fractals in dungeons at this point or no? No. Definitely. You've not. done more dungeons. Definitely. I have, like, just a raw, I probably have a thousand hours only soloing Lupicus. That's a lot of Lupicus mm -hmm. kills. Yeah. Huh. Well, do, do and you I'm, I'm not even good at it anymore. <laughs> so, because I haven't but, done it in so long. Does it bother you that the dungeon rewards are being uh, reduced? A little bit, because my opinion is kind of the same as Nemesis' opinion on this. Uh, people are still going to want stuff to farm after they're bored of the new expansion and dungeons are just something to farm for gold or the silver waste is so i mean i don't know i don't know what the point of taking the rewards away is i don't think it's like mean spirited or evil of them to do i just don't think there's a point to take the rewards away because if people are if their idea is that people are going to be doing them less anyways then why even bother touching them I think it's because they don't intend uh, raids, right? Yeah. They don't intend to make ridiculous rewards for raids, gold, liquid rewards, etc. And because of that, they don't want people going into raids and then doing it and getting the rewards going, why would I even do raids if I could just go to dungeons and get way more gold? So I think I think because they don't intend to make raids ridiculously rewarding in the monetary sense, they have to dial back the dungeon's reward to make it make people not complain that way. Well, people will just do silver waste if they want money. Yeah, exactly. Or new stuff and wherever. Right. I don't know. I think it's supposed to incentivize you to move towards fractals and raids. I think the fractals and raids are going to be enough incentive by themselves. Because so I think the fractal changes are really good. Only like one shard per level. I think that should have been how it was, but mm -hmm. I'd be fifty already. Yeah, <laughs> I think a lot of people would be. It still blows my mind when people are like, "I've never done a fractal." Like I've heard that a couple of times since I've joined my new guild, and I'm just like, "What? 
What? I was... Uh, yeah, I don't know. That's just like a, a big part of the game that just people haven't really done. But and this is, what, this is what they're calling their end game for dungeons. Like end game dungeons as well. So that's yeah. I like it better than that, I think. Fractals are a little harder than dungeons and they get harder the higher level you do. So I think that's fine. Hmm. Yeah. Fractal lady was a good challenge. But I have a feeling a hundred is gonna be I don't I don't I don't really know, I guess. I don't know if it's gonna be harder or easier. The instabilities weren't around when Fractal eighty was a thing. Mm -hmm. But some of the instabilities are really easy to deal with. Some of them are just kind of annoying. So I don't we know. Should, we should see some, some new ones as well. Quite possibly. I, I have a feeling that the way fractals are going to end up, that it's going to actually make sense to take like a healer into fractals or something. With an instability like that constantly damages you or something. Yeah. like it, yeah. Mm. Even though people do it now, it doesn't make any sense to do it now. But I don't know. Mm-hmm. No, no, I, I see that happening for sure. Because instabilities yeah. allow them to implement something like that that requires mm -hmm. you to have a healer. So yeah. that's, I don't see why they wouldn't do that. It, it wouldn't even necessarily have to uh, damage you. Say if you just had massively reduced healing, you actually need a dedicated healer to keep up. Yeah. Instead. Uh, <laughs> quick flash, <laughs> quick flash or riot. Yeah, you, have to, you guys Bring have to riot. It. You have to riot. We're not playing Quiplash. <laughs> Teapot hates Quiplash, guys. He hates just, oh, no. Oh it's God. confirmed it's I so hate Quiplash. Brazil. I hate it more than I hate wooden potatoes and a <laughs> PG. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Well, that, that's another that thing on the really list. Much. That, that just <laughs> says that Brazil doesn't hate wooden potatoes Quiplash. and a PG that much. That's right. That's actually and he doesn't true. hate Quiplash. He actually loves it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> riot or riot. So he loves Aurora PC and Wooden Potatoes. I think yeah. that's the uh, takeaway from all this. Wow. Wooden Potatoes watched my YouTube stream the other day. Oh, yeah. I was there with Mighty Teapot. I was there as well. Yeah. I, I was. I think we were remarking on. Well, we were mournful of the lack of Kappa in yeah. YouTube gaming. Oh, it has you, Kappa, but it's. Yeah, it's a funny weird. little face. Yeah, yeah, it has like a weird nose. Someone's telling me that my chair is shaking from me shaking my leg. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so, my, whole, my, my, my whole desk shakes too. If I put my if I put my arms on my desk, my monitors shake. But it's something I can never stop doing. They always wiggle. Okay. <laughs> T tell Brazil. Good stuff. I think he's a scrub, and I will duel him on stream. If you want to lose, just sign up for base former and never show up again. <laughs> Agony gives you reduced healing. What is the point of using a healer that won't heal for shit? Agony because you... you can dodge most agony. Yeah. I mean, people still use heal skills and still use war banners and still res, and there's agony right now. Wait, Agony gives you reduced healing? What does that mean? By 50%. Mm. Oh, right, 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 right. And level yeah. 50 fractals give you random Agony. Yeah, just to, mm -hmm. that's the instability. Kind yeah. of gets you. Does that... Does it's that not really... I don't know if it stacks with poison. I actually Ooh. don't. But it's not really random. It's... You can figure out when you're going to get Agony. It's, like, timed. Well, I mean, that's exactly it. They, I, but a, exactly a, time. a lot of things in... Fractal 50 will just kill you instantly anyway, so it's not so much Wait for a 100. Yeah. Instantly kill you all the time for no reason. You'll love it. Yes. Oh, what? Well, <laughs> yeah. A, a giant foot just stomps you every kind of, <laughs> every 30 seconds. Someone gets stomped by the giant foot and they just die. That sounds will, amazing. For Fractal 100, will you have to get more agony resistance? Yes. I guess. I would imagine yeah. so. God yes. damn it. What do you mean, god, god damn, damn it? I imagine they're going to add, like, plus 10 infusions that you can buy that'll be more oh. expensive. <laughs> I just spent so much money on it. Like, not just, like, a, a year ago, but still. <laughs> a whole year ago. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh yeah, fr right. Fractal 100 equals Dark Souls. They just they've got the action I, action combat I in the game. So. That's and right. Now it's just going to be Dark Souls Simulator. Should we should we talk about that? I think we should. About action action yeah. cam. I actually went and watched the stream instead of looking at screenshots and notes. Mhm. Mm and I think I'm probably going to actually switch from combat mode. Oh yeah, really? for sure. To the action camera. Yeah. yeah Even though I'm going to have to rebuy some stuff because combat mode Let's me bind nearest target to left click, and it lets me bind dodge to right click, and that won't be possible with the action camera. But I'll just—I don't know. It looks really good, and yeah. combat mode isn't built into Guild Wars 2, so there are times when it like jams up and it's really annoying. It doesn't like it, it doesn't happen very often. But it kind of like breaks really quickly, and you have to turn it back on and turn it off and on again, and it'll mm. fix it. But I'll probably just use the action camera. It looks really nice. It looks less, like action camera looks like lots of fun. It looks like yeah. making you have back to your good old action RPG games. And uh, obviously, well, do you think people are actually going to use this in competitions? In like yeah. PvP and definitely. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I think For sure. some people will. Yeah. I'll have to, cause like I'm, you're not gonna go back yeah, and forth. I yeah. can't PVP with the other thing. I've been using combat mode and PVP for every time. Like, I can't. I, I won't be able to play. I can't play Guild Wars Two with the regular camera. Like I've tried before, and I just can't do it. Like it's, it just doesn't make any sense to me anymore. Cause I've used combat mode for almost three years. I've used it since it was like new, and mm. it's been amazing. So I don't know, cause. Uh... Doesn't it kind of put you at a little bit of a disadvantage because it's kind of easier just to not have action ca uh, camera? Even if you're used to it, doesn't it sort of put a limit to your abilities? Yeah. It's, okay. I, in theory, I could do PvP better without combat mode or without the action camera. Mm -hmm. But it just doesn't make sense for me to play that way. Right. I just don't like it. It's like, I don't know. It's like driving a car with a manual transmission. You have more control over what's happening. That's why race cars have manual transmissions, like NASCAR mm -hmm. and maybe Formula One. I don't really know. But, like, automatic transmissions are really convenient for things like rush hour traffic. Right. Or driving up a hill. So. But it's kind of the opposite of your, uh, it's like the opposite of your uh, simile there. Yeah, it is in some yeah. ways. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> anyway, what are you gonna do? I I look forward to using it because I wanna. It's probably gonna get be hard to get used to for a little bit, but it looks like fun. Hmm. For sure. I'll use it for fun, but I can't see me using all of it for normal play. Hmm. We'll yeah. see. Yeah. I yeah, I I also can't see myself reusing it. But then again, it's because I've never really uh, used combat mode, so right. Uh, I, I think well, kinda... at, at the end of the day, it comes down to a bit of personal preference, you know. Yeah, I'm. Kinda... Uh, I mean, I'm just a noob when it comes down to it. Quite honestly, I don't enjoy the action combat, the full like the terror combat or whatever you want to call it. I just it's not for me. Hmm. Yeah. yeah, some people really like it though. Some people really like that sort of thing. Oh, of course. I think it's yeah. great that they're adding it. I think yeah. it's great that it's a toggle. Like, I think it will choose, uh, choose to use it or not. I think it's awesome. Yeah, combat mode has a toggle too. So hmm. I'll mm -hmm. just set tab for my toggle on action camera, and it'll be just like old times. Uh, I think it will, it will um, actually <laughs> attract people to the game because people look kind of look at an MMO and they think. Wow, this is an action MMO, and they'll go, "Wow, I want to play that." Because they look at, they look at stuff like Terror, and then you know, they think, "Wow, what a sophisticated combat system." And then now mm -hmm. they'll look at Guild Wars and say, "Wow, this is amazing!" Wow, wow, with this, no, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> wow, yeah, uh, with this, it probably it's probably going to be make Guild Wars two better, uh, a better action combat. Guild MMO. Wars two is just yeah. going to be the best MMO. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I mean, combat-wise, you guys saw that list, rank two under World of Warcraft. Are you kidding me? This will be number one now. 
are we being serious one now? How how does how do they rate World of Warcraft or Guild Wars two? No, nothing will people? ever nothing will ever be better than yeah. WoW. Wow. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I it's ingrained be... in people's minds that it's the greatest MMO yeah, ever. It ever, doesn't matter yeah. that it doesn't matter that it's ten or however many years, you know, twelve years old or whatever. It's yeah. ingrained in people's minds. It's like saying that uh, I don't know. Yeah. But what happens when WoW goes down to two million subscribers? Because doesn't matter. it actually yeah. doesn't matter. No, it doesn't, doesn't matter. No, they could go down to ten subscribers. I don't know. Free to play. I don't matter. think two million people play Guild Wars two. Mm. Yeah, not active. True. Not maybe not, not actively. actively. Well, who says that the subscribers for World of Warcraft are active? What's it? I don't know. Anyone like well, six million? Because it, I would, I'd wager they're more active than the inactive people in Guild Wars Two. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Because you kind Probably. of, if you have a sub fee, you kind of think, oh, I gotta, I gotta play. I gotta get my money's worth. I gotta do it. And then you just yeah, force yourself to play the game. Boobs and Soul is the best MMO. Well, boobs. I have to keep buying Exodia pieces, or I won't have my money's worth. <laughs> Wait, don't you have? You probably works, have all yeah. of them though. My, do my, you want to see? <laughs> how many copies of all of them do you have? <laughs> Here we go. He has a treasure chest full. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go, stream. We're about to see the overpowered, overpowered decks. Well done. Of Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, Mini uptime passes. Of time. Stream is blown with 31 minutes. Okay, so it's not a record. Last time it was 19 minutes that he brought out Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So this is the one that I actually play with. Okay. This is my set that I, I play with. This is an LOB Legend of Blue Eyes original Exodia set. Like the okay. first one that came out. It's not first edition. Because oh, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't play with the first edition set. But that's one I play with, which is... I mean, <laughs> that's probably my least valuable set, and that's probably worth about 100 bucks. Okay. I have also a bunch of Blue Eyes White Dragons, so I like to show Ooh. these off, but... Well, you're being slandered in, in Twitch chat. I'm sure you're That's... very hurt. I'm sure you're very hurt by that. People uh, can slander me all they want. Uh, we Hearthstone now. <laughs> you should feel bad for playing Hearthstone. Jewel me, Brazil. So... I'll make you cry, says the fabled Umbra. Brazil, do you believe in the heart of the cards? No. Because th that's not real. I have <laughs> another LOB set in here. And a DDS Exodia head, which was from a Game Boy Color game that was short printed. Then I have a first edition Legendary Collection set and like a Master Collection 1 Exodia head. I have Exode and or, an original and Master Collection Exodia Necros. Then I have an original Japanese Exodia set from Phantom God. I got that for $35 and it's worth about 200 And then I have a Gold Rare Exodia set that's worth like... 40 bucks probably but um i have five this is a third edition yeah alter ego <laughs> mullet wig you can see by the um i don't know if i'll get closer to the you can see by the 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 thinness of the of the hairs there the follicles yeah um they really improve from the second edition uh that's why i like to use this one when i put it on but um I have a first edition, I have several first editions. Let's just not talk about that right now. Back in the, in the <laughs> cellar, all prepackaged. But, um, but I don't wear them because, you know, it'd be crazy. Okay, but you have lots of Exodia <laughs> sets, Brazil, so you don't need to buy, do you need to buy more? Yes. But you so I don't have already... every Exodia set. Oh. I still need a first edition LOB set, which is going to set me back like... A couple hundred bucks, which will I probably won't have one of those for a very long time, since there are other things that matter right now, and I don't have a job currently. So, yeah, would you sell other cards in order to get those though? Yeah, Ooh, definitely. Okay. I don't. I I don't ever trade or sell anything out of that binder. That's my like collection binder, but mm -hmm. I have like decks and stuff that I've traded and sold stuff out of. That is why it is a trading card game, unlike Hearthstone. Exactly, unlike Hearthstone, where, like, 
you can't have a binder with your stuff you in trade it. Anybody. You can't trade and you can't sell stuff. Yeah, that's weird. Never trade. Are they? You think they're ever gonna let you trade in Hearthstone? No. 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 Why not? Kills, kills their model. Yeah. Yeah. It does. That's true. Um, yeah. Blizzard was smart. Let's see. We're gonna make a collectible card game, not a trading collectible card game, just a collectible card game. Hmm. Collect them cards. You can't trade with anybody, so it's all good. But <laughs> never trade. SM Orc. It's a good emote. And what were we even talking about before the Exodias came out? I like, don't know. Action don't camera. Know. Action oh, camera. Action camera. Yeah, it's I really good. like the, uh, what's the one that allows you to change targets without losing the skill? Oh, Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I, I really like this. Either. It, but yeah, I, I I'm was, using that. Yeah. Hmm. Ranger rapid fire. Definitely, and yeah. Targets. It's going to look so cool. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. So that yeah, there's a lot of application for that. So you, you don't have to waste all the damage. So you get someone down at, through halfway through the rapid fire, you can then switch to a new Ooh, target nice and don't waste any damage. I really Is like that... that from a design perspective and an actual applicability perspective as well. Would it's that awesome. still work in non-action combat mode? I I don't see yes. any reason why not. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I was just thinking maybe there's a reason to go action combat instead of like. Uh, for competition wise like maybe if it was only in action combat mode maybe some people would actually in PvP only choose action combat to use that ability no you but can I guess outside of it ah alright I have to answer this though someone's asking me if I would shave my beard for the cards Ooh. for a first edition Ooh. LOB Exodia set I would shave my beard nice he will, sh he will shave his eyebrows yeah <laughs> I'd do that too <laughs> I shave everything on my face. Yeah. <laughs> I respect that decision. Because, you know, some people don't look that good with a beard, but I think, Brazil, you'd, you'd, you'd look fine I'm without fat. a beard. I'm fat. I don't look good without it anymore. Oh, no? Oh, oh okay. That's uh, unfortunate. Yeah, I don't even know. I, like, I, I have a picture, actually. Let me go find it. Do you this want is going to be so weird for people to see. Do you, do you want it shown on stream? I'll, yeah, I'll put it on stream. Okay. If you, I can't. I'm or, not gonna go in Skype because if I open the Skype, my, wait, yeah. If I open the Skype message, everyone's faces. Will what go if all I? Over the I'll place. send you a different Skype message. I'll just oh. send like a you to me thing. Will that work? Brazil, I think no, you need to make. That, no, 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 you, no. Brazil, you have Patreon, right? Yeah. I think you need to make a two hundred dollar tier where you shave your beard for the, <laughs> the cards. That's gonna happen. Let me find it. It's pretty far back in my imager. And you have lowercase letters, right? Yes. So people will be able to see it now? Yes. If you would like to post it in Twitch chat, you can do that. And it will be shown on the stream. I can, I can even... Uh, I have some facial hair in this picture. Mm. It's not much. Who wants me to show, show the Frank Aziz? Ready. Do you want right. to put it up? Yeah, well, if you just post it as an Im imager link, I can okay. grab it okay. pretty quickly. Right. So There you go. Oh my god. Right. Wow. You kind of look like, uh, you look a little bit like uh, Ricky from that's like, Trailer that's, Park that's Boys. That's Dontane. That's not you. That's, what? that's not you. That's not me. Dontane looks you a little bit idiot. like, uh, <laughs> looks like Ricky from uh, Trailer Park Boys yeah. a little bit. Should I put it on the stream anyway? Yeah, put that up anyways. Okay. Dontane looks like a catfish. <laughs> Wow. I'm gonna get shit for seeing that. I'm still that looking looks, for the other picture. That looks like Inks. That doesn't look anything like me. Inks, no, is that you? <laughs> yes, it's me. You guys got me. Found my oh, secret picture. There we go. Well done, Brazil. We're just, <laughs> I, I, I actually can't find this picture now. I, uh, I know I, I have it don't somewhere. don't own a plaid shirt. So. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Oh my god. <laughs> wow, have you seen this Brazil image that Zach posted? What? Which that one? looks like a catfish. Creepy. Oh, Hang on. Oh, no. yeah. <laughs> That's pretty good. We need to quadruple our exorcism efforts, chat. All right, I'll put the other. I'll put the real picture in now. Oh. I'll put the real picture in. There it is. Is that actually the real picture? That's the real picture. Okay. My Chase. sugar gliders in the hey, background that's, and everything. That's Jack a Black. handsome guy right there. Yeah. Oh, this is the Jack Black one. He looks like he's going yes. to kill me. Yeah. yeah. He's uh, talking about it. He's getting ready for School of Fucking Rock. 
Look at him. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> Looks pretty dank. Okay, hang on. I need to add all okay. these pictures so I can show Somebody all Somebody wants to know, how do you tell if it's a first edition Exodia oh. piece? I can show you. Frank Z. Oh, these Frank Z's. Oh. Frankincense? Yeah. Fra this is Zach Sal. He invades the chat with Frank Aziz because he loves them so much. It may be, it may be difficult to see this on just my webcam, but I'll try. I'll let me take it out of the sleeve. You're right, Javesky. He does look a little bit like Ed Sheeran. <laughs> oh wow, this is Jeroya picture. What the hell? <laughs> this is horrific. <laughs> you let gotta start. Right. So right, he oh, where is it at? Right, oh, the other side. This says LOB like 124 or something right here where I'm tapping my finger right under the bottom right corner of the picture. It will say first edition. In some cases, it says it at the bottom down here, but it's up here on the older cards. Newer cards, it's kind of different, but too funny. Uh, oh, wow. Deroyer is here, and now he's gonna now he's gonna see the amazing art that Zach has done of him. The bulge filter, which it's isn't a, in CC, by the way. It's one hell of a drug. Um, and look, look, look what's happened. Now I've completely forgotten what we were even talking about. Yeah, again. it was we're still talking it about was action, action camera. camera. We still have a bunch of things to talk about, actually. I think yeah, there's like, what? What's going on here? Wait, what? Isn't Let's that talk about the the new legendary weapons. Ow, this hurts. Now the axe, the axe is good. Come on, I'm not I'm not sure I about don't the staff. Like the axe. I really like the staff's projectiles that it, you throw, uh, you know, you throw Birds. crows out. But I'm not a big fan of the actual look of it. It doesn't really look like it's worthy of being a legendary. You know? Really? Yeah, I, it doesn't look that legendary to me. I'm sorry. They uh. They won me over a little bit on the staff. Someone's it's... telling me they have a Dark Magician from a tin, and I have it too. Still won't be going, like, I'm not going to be going after any of the legendaries right away. I'd rather work on the back piece and the armor first, and then, you know, go from there. Hmm. Rock it out with the mullet. Yeah. <laughs> um... Okay, so hold on a second. I have some things that we could have talked yeah. about. Well, yeah. Snow Goes Ham wants us to discuss what, how PvP will be ruined when they add sinister stats. I Why mean, will it be ruined? I yeah, maybe. it's gonna be really strong. Are they adding that to PvP? Oh yes. my god, that'd be amazing. They are. Yeah. <laughs> and trap runes as well. <laughs> And trapper runes? That's oh, fantastic. Oh man. And trapper runes, yeah. I'm gonna get to rank 69 so fast. <laughs> <laughs> and then stop. Hope is hope is best. I mean Sinister Reaper is gonna be disgusting. I like hope a lot. Uh, it, oh my god. Hmm. It turns yeah, I actually quite yeah. when I was playing Reaper, I think you can if you have a little bit conditioned as you can get Doomfire to do quite a lot of work. Five K Yeah, yeah, with the Shroud. 5k maintained um, burns with like 2k auto yeah. attacks. Well, I, I was running, I was just running Celestial, uh, and it was doing yeah. a lot of damage in, in PvP. Uh, Sinister so, Berserker Sinister. Warrior with uh, <laughs> Skullcrack and all that crap. Not Skullcrack, a skull grinder. Hmm. Sinister Berserker Warrior. Oh my god, that's gonna be so good. Yeah. I think I read it. Sinister's really good. Why is Sinister worse than Berserker? It isn't sometimes. It's not. It's yeah. It's kind of it's the the condi equivalent, really, kind of. Well, mm -hmm. exactly. Yeah. No, it's not. No, it's not. Well, if it was, it would have duration instead of power. Yeah. yeah. Or instead of, uh, I mean, the precision is only really made good with the crit damage, right? Crits. So that yeah, yeah, but not that many classes have that. I think every class has that, except guardian. No. Guardian doesn't uh except Guardian. I think <laughs> I don't think I don't think um Thief does. Thief may not. And I don't think um I know Warrior does, Ranger does, uh Necromancer. Necromancer does. But I don't I also don't think that Elementalist does or 
something else. Anyway, it's not every class. But, uh, but yeah, crit, crit does help those people with the bleeds on crit, but other than that, not so much. It would be better if you had crit some ferocity in there, too. This is also just a small example of what's getting added. They're adding even more than just, like, these few. But, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, what, are, what else are they adding? Uh, what? Where'd you get that information, though? Yeah, where is Riffer. this from? Jebro's linked it. He's linked it in the chat there. Yeah, it was bro. on the forums. Oh, that's amazing. Thanks, Jebro. The hero. The so, hero that we need. And Thief Runes. That's going to be really good for... Uh, not Thief Runes. Uh, Trapper Runes. Trapper Ranger runes. and... Uh, Dragon Hunter. The mm -hmm. Dragon Hunter. Dragon Hunter. Invisible Guardian. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Well... Magic Man. You, you, do you need to be invisible now? Because like, you can just put the traps and then pull people onto them. Does that mean they're also going to do the other ones, like Exuberance and... Uh, I don't know. I want the one with the, the aura share. Yeah. The aura, yeah, Radiant, I want the Radiance. Aura one. Radiance. If Radiance is in, then PvP is perfect in every way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what, what runes would they never put in PvP? Well, Perplexity. Yeah, that's just... Well... Perplexity mm. coming to PvP soon. Yeah. Would it? Would that be that bad? It would be pretty. That bad. would be terrible. <laughs> oh wow! Look, Frank C. Probably would be pretty bad. <laughs> That's pretty funny, actually. Condi Mesmer plus Sinister. Oh my God! It's going to be horrible. Mesmer is already really annoying. I hate Mesmers. Yeah. I'm jealous yeah. of Mesmers. Why are you jealous? I'm terrible. Oh, because I'm terrible at Mesmer, and they wreck me. Most Mesmers are terrible. Just play Prismatic Understanding, you'll be fine. Yeah, like, that's... It's... Go I invisible. I hate to agree and... with Nike on something, but <laughs> Nike made a very good point about PU Mesmer. Uh, he said that it's the ultimate neckbeard build, <laughs> and I was like, what do you mean by that? And he said, uh... Basically, you have someone who's sitting there at the keyboard going... Oh, yes! I'm in stealth and I'm getting every boon! Oh, this is amazing! People are dying! And so, it was really funny to hear him do that, too. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it really is a build like that. Like, that's exactly what it's about. The um, thing about Sinister, though, is that... Uh, so, a lot of people are going to start running that when it comes out. And it's going to be, you know, really damagey. People are going to die pretty fast. However... It's the only, uh, oh, no, no, never mind, Rampager. Yeah, I was going to say this, the only um, pure damage, condition damage, one with no defense option, with no, like, vitality or, uh, or toughness. So I was thinking that, yeah, people would kill people really fast, but they'd be ridiculously squishy now, as opposed to normal condition damage dealers that are somewhat tanky. But no, but no. Oh. Make a song about it. <laughs> yeah. I, do you think he would do that? He would actually do that. I wouldn't be surprised. Make a song about it? The song about of, Mikey and I. Yeah. And how their love. They're less than three. Sigil of cleansing in PvP or Riot. Is, there is already... Well, you've got bursting to... and Malice. I think is Bursting in PvP now? Bursting yeah, is in PvP, is, yeah. yeah. Malice, malice is, is not. No. The bursting in PvP is weird. I, I haven't been finding it... It's like do... force. The yeah, thing... just don't use it. Bursting is a weird sigil because it never does what I think it's going to do. It, it seems that it only gives 6% of the base, base, base um, uh, condition damage. Like, uh, you, like just your base... Uh, plus your whatever your gear gives you, not anything additional. Like no no additional um, in PVE, for example, if you have uh, food or yeah. consumables, it does not multiply that, and it doesn't do uh, your traits. Like it doesn't uh, make if you have a trait that says gain condition damage equal to your power or your toughness, it does not tack on that either. Hmm. So it's weird sometimes because I, I like I have 1800 condition damage and I put on my sigil of bursting and I'm like, oh, I'm going to get, uh, what is it, 800, 800, like another 120 yeah. condition damage, but it, it only gives me 80. And it's a little disappointing sometimes. 
Mm. So bursting looks good on paper, but it's not actually that fantastic. Yeah. Uh, that's very true. Where what are you guys doing? What are you talking about? The Frank Aziz? You mean us or the old Twitch chat? Yeah, that too. What? No, no. Uh, do you guys want to talk about Pro League? I don't know anything about it. I didn't watch that part of the stream because I don't care um, about PvP. Uh, I'm sad okay. that I am <laughs> sad that I suck at PvP. Sounds like there's a lot of money out there up for grabs. I know that they they have what like a 200k um, or a 400k prize pool. 200k twice, so 400k, yeah. and mm, then money. the championships is a, is a separate prize pool, which will be even bigger than I guess previous champion championships. Wow. Um, on top of that, we're also looking at we're going to see a balance change before each of these seasons. So that means we're going to see balance changes in the game as a whole more often than uh, we have in previous years. How soon Which before each of those seasons? Two weeks, I think. Okay. So I think you they said to, two weeks before a just season Just to starts. shake up the meta a little bit before? Okay. Yeah, shake it up, change it up a little bit, uh, balance things better depending on how broken this or that is, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. That's and gonna be good. I like. I like the. Balance I know, it's, it's kind of more exciting to me than the actual pro league itself. <laughs> yeah, like, no, that's good. They're gonna actively that's, try that's and fix we're the not game. Pro players. Yeah. If 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 my name was Rom or Fantaram or something, I'd be really freaking excited. It's even more money. Yeah. Chance to set money for those guys, you know. And yeah. um, it'll be interesting because I'm not sure they said directly whether it would be. I, I assume it's going to be conquest still, but I don't know. Secretly, I love the idea of. Stronghold? Stronghold being played once and again. Yeah, me too, but I don't think they'd do it for these competitions. Why not? Because it's, it's too new. It's That's the great part about yeah. it. It's too new. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but you think they're going to give away $200,000 for something well, that could be a I mean, terrible it's, competition? Yeah, season, like Dominion and League of Legends. A season is, is several <laughs> weeks long. It could just be like one week at Stronghold or something. Like It doesn't have to be... One week is not going to determine everything. $200,000 every two weeks. Confirmed. It's, it's not <laughs> yeah, there we go. That's I mean, it's I'm, nice. It's a lot of money. It's going to help develop the scene even more than like the previous year, which it has grown in leaps and bounds, which is nice. Um, looks good. I, I, uh, I'm excited to see where it goes within the next year of all this stuff. Yeah. I would, mm. yeah, Gil, I, it would be really good to see Guild Wars 2 become uh, more mainstream in the eSports circle. Because, I mean... You look at look at our viewers on Twitch. We get, we're getting we're getting beaten by RuneScape. Come on, what is this shit? Fuck RuneScape. How, I mean, look, if I go to games right now, where is Guild Wars two? Not um, very high. Uh, we no. have. You're helping. Have, we have one thousand three hundred thirty four viewers. Oh yeah, esports. Yeah, like seventeen hundred last night. Uh, yeah, to be fair, yeah, you have a lot more when there's tournaments going on and stuff. But I mean, and then when I stream, that's plus two. Yeah. <laughs> RuneScape is real esports. Where it? Where is RuneScape? Uh, do we? Do we have more viewers than RuneScape right now? No, we don't. Or do we? What the I'm hell? like, do people still play that game? Uh, of course. Yeah, RuneScape has four thousand seven hundred viewers. We're oh getting massively God. out roleplay by RuneScape. We're getting destroyed. Yeah. Just look up Minecraft. That's all you need. To it's probably okay. It's probably gonna go up. Actually, maybe it, w it won't go up. Once HOT hits, because everybody's going to be playing instead of watching it. No, people one are going to be watching it. Emperor. The rule says 1K for wooden potatoes, 1K for some new guy, and 1K for <laughs> good four. It's true. It's absolutely true. There's a lot of people, we talked about this a little bit, I think, before show, but there's a lot of people now, because Heart of Thorns is literally five days away at this point, I think. Five five days, I think. Yeah. Um, there's going to be a bunch of people jumping on the bandwagon, you know. You're going to have the the bigger Twitch people say, hey, let's look at Guild Wars 2 for a week or two and grab those viewers and then go back to whatever or hop over to the next game. So there's always going to be that. Wow. Yeah. There, yeah. Uh, look at the quality of this meme. This is a high-grade high, high grade meme. Which one? It's too good. One on it's the on the stream right now. Senpai noticed me. Oh, my God. <laughs> How do, you, how do you do that with your eyebrow? I don't know. The smudge. 
Yeah. Well, it wasn't me. I, I look at this and I know exactly how he's done it. You have a very, very hairless body. Yeah. I don't know how he got these. I mean, I thought these were very private images, but uh, I guess he's he's a hacker, and he's a hacker, and he found out. Wait, who else will have the balls to ban T and D shitlords? T and D. T and D. D and T. D and T, T and D. I guess I guess that kind of moves us to our next topic. Thanks for the <laughs> there, Oh, yeah. But, oh, um... the topic that I was right about that Nike told everyone I was yeah, wrong about? Mm -hmm. Oh, no! Did I just say that on live stream? <laughs> no. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry, what? everyone. No. I'm going to talk about the TNT and ATT. Have. That's what I was talking about, too. <laughs> yeah. to... They're going to have the rights to test out raids. Yes, they are. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm an ATT, and I'm not testing you out know raids. nothing. <laughs> I, I asked somebody else, too. I asked Black Op, who is in ATT, and he's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> I was like, well, some of the members in ATT are going to get to test out raids. Mm -hmm. You're not one of them. <laughs> no, but it's good. There, there are there are a small group of people in ATT who are extremely focused on this kind of thing, and uh, I mean DNT is probably the most well, maybe not the most, but there are several guilds that are extremely worthy of doing this. DNT is one of them. Uh, I think NA being one of the groups that was able to down. NA uh, is more worthy of doing it than DNT. Fair enough. So also NA is pretty good. Uh, ATT, there are not the whole guild. The whole guild's a good guild to do world bosses and will probably have a lot of fun doing raids. But there are a small group of people in ATT that are totally worthy to do this. And uh, good on them. Yeah. I mean, someone's got to do it, I guess. Yeah. Someone's got to yeah. test this stuff. It's good as getting tested, absolutely. There's, I don't think there's any doubt about that. This stuff needs to be tested by outside groups, so that when it goes live, it, um, you know, it's good. Yeah. And, and just to say, to say worthy. The reason I'm saying worthy is because these are people who, who like spend a lot of time trying to break stuff in the game. So, they. Ah, uh... uh, I disagree with that. DNT does not spend time. No, no, I'm not talking about DNT. I'm talking about people in ATT. Oh, but, okay. but yeah, maybe uh, DNT. Even, I don't know. even attuned, I can't think of anyone who spends more time trying to break the game than like RT or what, whatever guild D, they were DS back then. All of the game breaking shit came from DS and from the European guilds, and they mm -hmm. are on the level of finding exploits and breaking stuff, they're like everyone else is here and the European guilds are like way up here. There's not even a like a bridgeable gap. Easy. Yeah right. How how would Arena but like the question is, does Arena Net is Arena able to know of these guilds easily? Yeah. I mean Snowcrows is a popular guild. People know about Snow Crows. They're on Reddit. They, uh, week. They, they made a comment about, and I don't know how much you want to put into this, but there was a comment made, or, and I'm paraphrasing, this is not a direct quote, but they wanted guilds or they wanted these guilds for during office hours. Yeah. It had to be during exactly. the internet's office hours. So EU guilds were maybe, I, I don't really know, but I'm guessing that they weren't looked at as much because of the time zone difference. Now, maybe that's unfair. I don't really know, but that's kind of the mm. gist of it. Mm -hmm. uh, Which, that's, that's believable. Arena does have an office in the UK, though. Hmm. True, but, <laughs> I, but I think they're talking about the main office yeah, where the, the raid team uh, is and whatever. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but, I mean, uh, it it's going to have an interesting consequence on... The um, world records, though, you know, the world first and stuff. I For mean, sure, but I... They're no longer illegible, really. It's, exactly. It depends It depends how they're going to do it. They sure. Say these particular guilds want to go for it. They could have a dedicated raid testing team, and then a team who's actually going to play it and try and beat it first on launch. You know? Yeah, oh, but, but you know, when now you're, launch. you're talking about, you know, you can't... If you're part of the same guild that has testing privileges, whether you're part of that testing privileges or not, 
you're kind of forfeiting your entire guild because yeah it just doesn't work the thing is though yeah. the guilds that are getting the ability to test even if they which i don't think either of them will get worlds first even with their extra experience that they're going to have but i have a feeling that if they do on the off chance they'll still try to claim it anyways and there will be a huge community backlash i don't think it'll be that big of a deal i don't really care about it i think <laughs> na is probably going to get worlds first or snow grows but yeah yeah but even if dnt does claim world first having beat it they will like literally the first run after it comes out for real it won't be a backlash it'll just be yeah okay dnt congratulations i, I think that, i think that people will be mad about it uh, i i think that that's how reddit works okay all right pretty I, much i, I think it'll just be whatever it'll, it'll be one of those things where they're like they'll put a little asterisk next to your name yeah it'll be asterisk asterisk next to your name and say we're testers doesn't count next mm -hmm. <laughs> nemesis for raid testing or riot <laughs> but no, the other thing is that even if it wasn't the testers themselves that do the world first, the, the, it's true. The entire guild is sort of there's an asterisk next to it at this point mm, because yeah. although testers are not supposed to share any information, there's no way of knowing if it actually happens. Right. So you know, all strats can be given easily to guild members, possibly, even though you're really not supposed to. In fact, in ATT. They're, they've made announcements that they're being very careful and definitely don't talk to the people who are in it. Don't even ask who's in it. Uh, we're not telling you anything. So, so that's good. Uh, but still, you know, obviously the perception is uh, from probably Reddit or the forums are going to be, if there's a world force from ATT, even if it's not the testers, there's going to be an asterisk. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. I mean... I enjoyed raids, and I'm just a disgusting pleb. So yeah, I mean, <laughs> you're in I'm, that raiding guild, right? Um, well, I'm in a guild that claims it's supposed to do. It's aimed at raids, but I'm not. I'm not sure how that's going to go. Wow, Teapot. I'm Jeez, scared. Just have faith. Oh, we'll see. We'll see. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm part of Brazil's guild, um, the Flying Squirrels. You guys should definitely apply, and they're going to be world first raiders. So, you should send them an in-game message as soon as we're off this show, and let them know that you want to be part of that experience. I want to be in that guild. There you go. See, who doesn't Thanks. want to be in that Bills. guild? Yeah, everyone wants to be in. So everyone, do, well, you, we we can contact Ewings, right? I, I believe the application. No, is, no, I, I believe the I, application uh... is you have to send hate mail to Inks and they let you in. Isn't that right, Brazil? <laughs> yeah, that's right. There you go. <clears throat> if you have a good enough quality hate mail, <laughs> you're allowed into the guild and you can become world first raiding. It's true. Send a hundred gold with your application. <laughs> yeah. Processing fee. <laughs> so, so, Processing yeah. fee. And there's a well, there's a tide yeah, we'll as well. You know. For every silver you make, for every gold you make in the guild, you have to give ten percent to MMO Inks. <laughs> That's how elite it is. You have to pay just to exist within it. Yeah. Too funny. Why is Boots wearing a blonde wig? I grew it up. There you go. I grew my hair up. It's it, it, not a wig. Yeah. What wig? It's real. <laughs> it just it's real. It. Yeah. Because. Uh, of hold on, maybe I still have that because of that. Wait, yeah, yeah. Oh, should I put it back there again? I'll put it on the stream again Send because of down, this. Downstate salsa to inks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do we have anything else to talk about? Uh, someone link. Uh, okay, the, hold on. Changes link, to scrapper and druid. Yeah, someone link the yeah. druid changes. Oh yeah, I haven't read really out inks. Stuff. That's me. That's me. Make money inks. Uh, Hashtag make money inks. I'm a sellout. Mm. What would you like me to plug? I think there's some butt paste or something I'm trying to apply for. I'm gonna sell that on the stream. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna need it. Hey, if you're gonna be sitting for 15 hours playing Guild Wars 2, you might need this product. I'm just saying. You might need it. No. Oh. <laughs> Being hosted by Sam Ajesty. Oh, 
Oh, on there. really? Oh, so 57 viewers. viewers! Thank you, my friend. Thank I you, Sam. Sam. Yes. Welcome, uh, you. Welcome, Sam, and viewers of Sam to the stream. We're, we're talking Sam about... Sam. I, what are we talking about? Guild Wars? Let's learn. I think. Yeah. Is that Ink, what we're Ink's his new brand. He's <laughs> <laughs> handcrafted. Selling, <laughs> selling out. And he, um, he, okay. he tests it all before he sends it out to you guys. So don't it's worry about it. Oh boy. Yeah. Quality. Yeah. Unwashed. I'm, I'm the real QA tester. <laughs> Forget all those other guys. Yeah. I don't know nothing. They got nothing on me. <laughs> okay, let's look at some of these changes. We got Grace of the Land. <laughs> Trait has been reworked. Instead of his form of behavior, allies affected by your celestial avatar abilities gain 3% damage and condition damage increase for 8 seconds. It's a good buff for raids, I guess. Yeah, I, I like that sort of thing. It's It gives it more uh, offensive capability as well. Now you're making your friends do more damage. And more mm. damage is good. You need that damage to kill the raids because they have uh, 21 million time. health. Yeah, in yeah, rage time. 20, so. 22 million. 22 million health. That's right. It's an it's a unique damage buff for everybody. Yeah. And that's exactly what you need. You want to have the longest bar of effects possible. That's that's how it works, mm -hmm. right? I believe that's how you uh, become good at the game. You just get more and more icons, and you win. I remember. Did, what's the most you can get? There was like, was it twenty five or so? What people take those pictures with all those icons? I don't know. I don't care either. <laughs> uh, lingering light this trait has been reworked instead of its former behavior when you heal their ally their next ongoing attack will heal them based on your healing and blind their target what the fuck yeah what do you yeah. mean what why the fuck? when you heal an ally their next ongoing attack will heal them so more healing and blind their target mm. that's really weird really really weird yeah do you like it or do you just think it's weird? I don't. I think that's stupid. What was it before? After you heal them, you heal yourself. Don't know. I gotta look at that. I guess. Hmm. How do we look at that? Uh, I don't know. I don't but know. I think that trait sounds really dumb. In a good way or a, a bad way? A bad way. Like I, I don't. That just that's too much stuff happening. Like it's not simple. Like a trait should be. It's not simple. It's just extra healing. Yeah, I why guess. can't they just make your healing effectiveness like 20% better on X cooldown or something? I don't know. Mm. I don't know. It's very strange. And it's when you heal an ally. They're next. And you're an ally too, I suppose. So you heal yourself again in blind. Yeah. How, what, what kind of cooldown would this be? Internal cooldown? Because that could be sort of... Zero um, seconds. Zero seconds. Of, the blind can be powerful for yourself in a well, sort of uh, on, PvP kind of situation. On everyone as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, you just blind stuff forever with this maybe, kind of. Maybe. Okay, next. Glyph of Unity. The skill now has a 400 initial effect radius and a 600. Who cares? Glyph of Empowerment. <laughs> the radius of this skill uh, is increased to 600. Okay. Glyph of Alignment increases the weakness of the crippled duration of the skill from 3 to 5 seconds, reduce cast damage uh, by 66%. But, it and also applies 3 stacks three of poison. poison. And this is very... that's pretty good. 3 stacks of poison? Poison's really annoying. Mm-hmm. And maybe, uh... Maybe there's gonna be bosses that heal themselves loads, so you have to poison them to make that... Maybe. Give them agony. Just, wait, give the... give bo give druids agony. They can apply agony. Yeah. But doesn't agony does percentile damage to you, so it'll just kill bosses instantly. Yes, <laughs> you used to be able to do that in fractals. Whenever was it mimic? I think when mimic, I think it was mimic. When mimic was different, hmm. you could absorb uh, a boss like Moss Man's throw axe. You could absorb it and take it into the next fractal, and like a champion mob or something, you could throw it out and one shot them with the agony damage. <laughs> yeah, that was fun times. That's um, awesome. But I think, I mean, there's enough access to poison for a raid group or any yeah. kind of group that I don't think this really matters that much, the Glyph of Alignment. Um, yeah, because it's reduced damage and some poison. 
Meh. Ancestral grace is now an evade and will immediately end upon reaching your destination. That's cool. That is cool. Is that the third skill? It's the teleporty one. Okay. Uh, that is cool. Uh, this... Celestial avatar form. Entering this form now has a 10 second cooldown. Charging of astral force by healing is reduced by 40%. Whoa. Uh, charging wow. of astral force by outgoing oh strike is God. increased by 200%. 200%. That, that, yeah, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Okay, so it's more you have to charge yourself by attacking more than healing now. Yeah. And you retain half your current astral force if you decide to break form early. That's good. If you break form early, you get to retain some of your... Uh, yeah. Much so needed. They, yeah, they're, they're just, they just... It's the direction they or want to take. Or just really them. not... Yeah. yeah, just a... Maybe not needed, but certainly a great life of change. Mm -hmm. Modern life thing. But the heal, like I mean, the healing part was that a big problem before that people were getting into uh, celestial avatar form too early because they healed a lot. You had like ninety percent yeah. uptime on it. It's incredibly yeah. easy oh. to charge it. I mean, they... especially with troll on him. Mm. Yeah. Mm, okay. Yeah, you're right. Fair enough. Uh, skills that heal have had their base heals reduced by fifteen to twenty five percent. And increase the coefficients. Okay, that's good. Yeah. I remember that was a big problem everybody was talking about, yeah. that it didn't scale properly off of healing power. Well, almost, nothing, almost nothing scales well with healing power, though. Healing yeah. power is just not exactly, very efficient exactly. right now. Yeah, I would wish I wish they would go through the game in general yeah. and fix it for everybody. Absolutely. All classes. Yeah. I think you're right. Yeah. You're, you're, you're definitely right. Uh, <laughs> Right now, healing power is, is just not efficient, and you don't even, well, hmm. I, I, it's pointless to say you don't require it now, because in raids, you very well might require a lot of healing. Uh, but even in that raid, you didn't have to run a particularly dedicated healing. You could just rely on quite a lot of passive healing, just from playing Guild Wars 2 to get through, and you only needed, you know, the one druid. And the run the one druid could still do some damage as well. Uh, wasn't always mm -hmm. needed and stuff. Yeah. Uh, slash. Yeah, I guess that's the problem with healing in general. Because I, because yeah, for your main healing skill, people, I think ArenaNet wanted it so that you didn't really have to run too much healing power in order to be self-sustainable. But right, but you need to make it rewarding as well to and go actually cool. go healing power. Yeah, right to actually go healing power, and it just isn't. It's not. You're right. And then finally, Celestial Avatar Lunar Impact reduced the days of the skill from 3 to 2 seconds and is ground targeted. And will Blash finish. Needed to happen. Yay. <laughs> yeah. Good. But, but, uh, that makes me sad that you can't uh, permanently daze people now. With the. Oh, yeah, you, yeah, you probably can actually. With, if you run some uh, paralyzation, you can probably do it. Right? And uh, Rune of the Mesmer or something. You could probably permanently daze people with this. Yeah. Or if you were... You have to go out of your way to do it. Hmm? You have to go out of your way to do it before yeah. you just, yeah. just did it. <laughs> yeah. We're, we're, ranger we're, in that skill. Yeah, the ranger in the, the trait that does the double days duration. Yeah. Or in PvE, you could be an Asura also. Yeah. With Techno Babble or whatever that's it that's is. That's yeah. That's yeah. Uh, techno, techno Babble. Yeah. 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 Um, okay, Scrapper changes. Is there any, anything Revelation... A revelation with the druid changes there? Not really, eh? Uh, I, I mean, little, little stuff, but it'll yeah. be good. <laughs> yeah, it'll be just the good changes. Yep. Mm. So for the scrapper, function gyro, the gyro should appear and begin Ooh. stomping or reviving mm. more quickly and no longer seek to attack anyone that strikes it. Oh, thank God. <laughs> yeah, this is, a, this is probably, this is a big one. Well, yeah. it's, it's more Focusing like and... it will actually work now. Yeah. Oh, and it'll instead solely focus on its task, the thing that it actually does. And uh, the cooldown has been reduced to 20 seconds from 30 seconds, and their duration is reduced from to 10 seconds from 15 seconds. So what does that mean exactly, the duration reduced? I guess, okay, this is intended to increase the frequency available while still giving it enough time to complete its purpose. The range, okay, nine, increase to 900 range, too. Ooh, this function jar is going to be good. Yes. 
Yes, it is. It will get the Do job think... done, and you can use it more. The reduction to 10 seconds from 15 seconds, what's the point of that exactly? The duration that it's out. I guess so that uh, if someone's like attacking a corpse or a downed person and it's trying to revive that downed person, it doesn't do it forever? Yeah, probably just to bring it in line with 15 seconds was just too long for it to be active and out, I guess, they decided. Yeah, okay. All right. Anybody have any ideas about that? No? Just good? Yeah, okay, I like it. I guess. It's very handy. Okay. It doesn't Hammer have one hands. Because <laughs> it's just a gyro. That's right. Hammer one auto attack combo uh, went in. What? Went in and removed most of the aftercast from the swings. So they should feel a bit smoother. Okay. Good and stuff. there's a functional damage increase because it's faster. Good stuff. Good. Yeah. Because everybody, yeah, everybody was complaining that the dam the hammer didn't do as much damage as they wanted it to. Needed yeah. a touch. Just yeah, to it's a fair criticism. Um, yeah. But... Okay, a rocket charge will no longer leap about once you've reached your target. Instead, leaping ensuring that the gap remains closed and your leaps more closely synchronized. Good stuff. Yeah. It will make it a, a harder to suicide with this. Yeah. <laughs> there was definitely well, I, times where you would jump like away and then jump back. I like that over. aspect of it though. I liked I like the danger of using the skills. Yeah. It's a shame. <laughs> also Which, they uh, squash the bug of this ability being affected by movement speed. Ah, okay. Yeah, that just brings it in line with everything though, because it's not supposed to, is it? Exactly. Exactly. It's, yeah. Uh oh chat is Craigasming over yeah. impacts of on yeah this is actually pretty big affects days is in addition to stuns the trait that uh, gives is it the weakness one or oh, god damn it what does the hell does this do what what's going on never mind never mind uh, keep just keep talking just keep talking. <laughs> <laughs> okay shock shield the still skill now starts you blocking immediately upon. And we'll cease blocking the moment the skill ends. Okay, whatever. Uh, several drivers receive increased movement speeds to help them keep close to you. And as as move as you move, some skill changes to make them more effective at their jobs, like increased range on their abilities. They definitely need it. Yep. Yeah. Hopefully it's good enough. We'll see. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. see. <laughs> it's, it's not so much that they're even... It, it's The biggest problem isn't about how slow they were. It's the fact that they kind of just stop. Yeah. Uh, does they they that they stop and then you have to you run forwards and then it takes a few seconds for them to even start to chase you. Do you think it's because the way AI seems to work? So I was reading a little bit about um, what's his name, Dave something or other. Yeah, Dave Mark, the new AI guy. He was talking about how to do AI properly, um, and it included the fact that you don't. You don't calculate the next move every 0 0.01 seconds because that's too much of a of a drain on your calculation on your on your uh, on whatever on your. What are you, what are you trying to say? I'm trying to say that there. I believe Dave Mark made it so that the AI in the game only calculates what it's going to do next every maybe 0 0.5 seconds or 0 0.25 seconds. So it's faster than 0.1. No. Slower than point 0.1. Slower than point 0.1. Because, you know, you just think point 0.1. If you add a zero, that's point 0.10, and point 0.5 is half of 10. <laughs> Good point, Brazil. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, but no, so, so the way it looks is, yeah, it's going to reduce the, the load on the servers to calculate things, but these AI are going it's to react slower. slower. Uh, that's bad. Yeah, that's bad. I mean, I understand that. I understand trying to save resources, and this is a way to do that because you're calcul you're making those calculations less often. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to things like PvP, it does. It's no good. I'm sorry. It's just not acceptable in a PvP scenario. You need yeah. things to happen instantaneously or right away. You can't yeah. be waiting for start stop gyros or whatever. 
Okay, apparently Arethla says that he mentioned that the AI evaluates every one second, but I think they must have changed that. Uh, I hope, at least, because one second seems a little too long. Um, well... But but the, the what it does, it reduces the loads on the servers, so it makes the game better to play for people, less lag, etc. Also, I think it'll let them do more complicated calculations uh, every second or every whatever that that sequence is. So they could make more complicated AI just slower. What's going on? I'm just <laughs> laughing at chat. I'm not even paying attention to what you're saying anymore. Nobody does. Uh, I'm paying attention. Boot butt spur. Oh, so, yes. <laughs> I am as well. Brazil's has been taken by the dank memes. It's too much yes. for him. <laughs> oh my god, wow. Twitch chat. Well, actually, it's just... It... Card. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god that's terrible yeah that is I'm a pretty laugh at it though yeah i feel bad for, for laughing at that that feels bad man i feels bad man i don't really feel bad about much <laughs> chat spam forehead why do people why do you want to spam forehead i mean, I mean boots has has a forehead but i do big forehead yeah i mean i have I stupid have hair so quite a lot of my forehead is covered you just don't wash yours. You probably haven't washed it since, like, yesterday morning. Uh... Am I right? <laughs> well, I mean... You guys don't even want to see what my hair looks like right now. Oh, my God. I don't think so I've ever seen bad. your hair. Yeah, you have. I'll show you guys what it looks like now. <laughs> oh, it's a here we go. Mess. What? What's... Oh. I mean, is okay. that really that bad? That's not that bad. Yeah. I can't really see my... <laughs> That's not that bad. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, look at all those cappers, but they're not capitalized. Oh my god. Uh, no. Fail. They tried, fail. they tried. Oh. It's a hundred blade warrior, so. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm, Gyros I'm so... now start their cooldown upon, ra upon summon rather than upon this, gyros. Yes. This is big. Okay. Well, I mean, big come. I like it. Yes, yeah. so that means that if something dies, it can be summoned right away again? Mm. Potentially. Probably. Potentially, yeah. Potentially. So that's better than Necro Minions. Right. Yeah. Okay, so but, we got Medic, Shredder, Purge, Bulwark, Gyro, now have 35 second cooldown. That from 30. Oh. Sneak Gyro needed a cooldown that was longer since it would otherwise have potential for 100% uptime. Yeah. Apparently it's Wait, again. Uh, yeah, we have been informed by Twitch chat. That it's uh, they put it back, yeah. What did oh. they put back? The so it starts so after death again. Yeah, but they just reduce the cooldowns, so it's better, no. especially if they if they die early. I see. Okay, because they were worried what I just that people I, I would just don't kill. understand this whole fascination with wanting to add more minions into the game. Wasn't when Ranger spirits couldn't run around anymore? Wasn't the whole point of that is because they wanted less minions mm. in the game? And then they make an elite specialization that gives more minions in the game, basically. Well, I, mm -hmm. I mean, the the ranger things are kind of a bit like turrets, though, you know, because they can't move. I understand, <laughs> but what I'm saying is that they said that, like, having all these zoo builds, having all these minion builds in structured PvP was a bad thing. And then you introduce an entire specialization that's dedicated to having more minions fly around with mm. you. Yeah. Yeah. I just don't understand, like, when did that decision change? When did their minds change on that? I think Scrapper's stupid. But, and the whole idea with you the, really with like the gyros, Scrapper, though. Yeah. <laughs> I like the traits in Scrapper. Yeah. And I like, I, and I do like Scrapper. Don't get me wrong, but the I like you the know, function these, gyro. These problems with the gyros in general is like the start and stop, and how does it talk to the server, and how often does the AI, AI have to keep up, which still seems to be an issue. You create all these issues because you decide to create another minion class that you said mm. wasn't. You didn't want to overload structured PvP with minions in the first place. Well, Maybe I'm missing something. To be something. fair, no Maybe one's going to use gyros. Well, I mean, yeah. probably. Uh, Maybe if yeah. maybe one or two. I don't it's, know. It's maybe bad. maybe they won't. Maybe I'm totally wrong. It's Do you think they designed just... the scrapper class with gyros before they nerfed spirits? Yeah. Or after? Scrapper hammers has been in the game for a long time. So I think probably. They created Scrapper Hammer with the gyros, said, okay, when this comes out, what are people going to think about this? They're going to think, 
uh, okay. It's just turrets that uh, that move around like spirits. Great. So they nerf spirits just so that people can say, "Oh, look, these scrap these gyros move," unlike everything else. Uh, I don't know. I think it's kind of. I don't know. Mm. Nobody likes gyros. Well, not yet. Not yet. I like function gyros. Yeah, I really like the function gyro, especially when it's traded for the stability. Oh, so good. Oh yeah. I mean, I had fun with them. I I did have fun with them in niche situations, but I don't know. I'm just not overly thrilled about more AI nonsense. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. But minions. <laughs> minions are really good. Especially with Venoms. Better. Especially They're with Venoms. way better. And then you have but... Reaper. Oh, oh. oh. Looking forward to that Reaper, yo. I don't know. I um, haven't got to play Reaper yet. I should have. Yeah. I want to. Yeah. I'm going to struggle to play anything except Reaper. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like... <laughs> I, I think I'm going to eventually get around to getting hero points on Revenant, but I'm going to be playing Reaper so much. Like, I don't know. Yeah. Like, especially those, oh my god, grinding for Halloween skins for Reaper is going to be amazing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. yes, yes Chainsaw yes. on the Reaper. I have the bat. No, yeah, you know, it's the bat one because you get the bat shoulders, don't you? Yeah. So Yeah, you have yeah. lots of bat bats shoulders. that fly around. Mm, bats that's everywhere. okay. Oh, come on. How are you going to say the chainsaw skin It would not be the best thing for the Reaper? You put on uh, a freaking Michael Myers mask on you and then <laughs> run around with a chainsaw nice. greatsword skin? I think Gravedigger with the, the gra gra uh, yeah, the It grave would be sword. amazing. Like, I wish I still fucking had mine. <laughs> <laughs> Feels bad, I'll man. I'll shave my beard if someone gives me a great saw. Wow. I'll do I'll make a video of it. Damn. Too. I'll put it on YouTube. That's that just happened live if on the If someone screen, guys. gives me a great saw, great sword skin, if they mail it to me in game, you then I will make a video wow. of me shaving my beard. It's up to you, Twitch chat now. You can yeah, do dude. this. You can make this happen. You don't know someone with some disposable income is just gonna uh just <laughs> I hope buy they gems do. I hope and they just do. do it. <laughs> make it happen. Yeah. You can all uh, you can all collaborate together if you want. Just pull your resources, buy one, send it to Brazil, <laughs> sell out Dan's tell, game. Tell the story again, Brazil. Tell the story. <laughs> I we didn't hear the beginning. Of Zach, the street. Zach wants to know. <laughs> yeah. Wait, but, yeah, Zach. He knows the story. He definitely knows the story. I'll tell. I'll tell it anyways. I'll tell it anyways. So this was the first Halloween event. And I was playing Guardian Main then, and I really loved Great Sword. And the Great Saw came out, and this was whenever gold had more value. So I had like 10 gold or something, and the Great Saw was like 40 gold at the time, and I really wanted one. So I sold everything in my bank, and I bought some gems, and I had enough money to get a Great Saw. So I bought a Great Saw for 40 gold, and I put it on, and I used it. I really fucking loved it a lot. And then the clipping into the back of the Guardian got too much for me. And then I had this idea where if I put the Great Saw and a Corrupted Great Sword and a Destroyer Great Sword in the Mystic Forge at the same time, I thought I'd get a precursor. So I did that. And I lost my Great Saw. Mm. And some people will wonder, like, why don't you contact support? They'll give it back to you. And so I contacted support a little while ago. It's probably been like two months or something. And uh, I said, look, I used to have a great saw and I was stupid and I mystic forged it. Can I get it back? And they said, we can't prove you ever had it on your account. So no great saw. No, no great saw for me. Was it over? Yeah. My <laughs> oh. t back just... <laughs> Uh, that's terrible. That's what? No, it's cool. sad. It's, it's sad. not fail fish. It's Bible thumb. This is Bible thumb time. Chat spam Bible I think, thumb. I think eventually, someone from Arenanet will hear the story on the stream. So yeah. if you say it enough, you might get it back. At some yeah. Point. You should just wait until Roy eventually returns and then just tell him the story. Spew your Roy. heart out directly to Roy. Yeah, please, please. New legendary weapons. We got a little bit of a preview. We didn't. We already. We already talked about that. I yeah. didn't talk about it. You guys talked about it a little bit. Oh, uh, where was I? I don't even remember if we talked Neverland. about it. Neverland. 
we talked about the axe a little bit and the staff and Mighty Teapot said, I really like throwing crows at people. That was about the end of it. You don't like throwing crows at people? Why not? Oh, I love throwing did. crows at people with Mad King crows. He said he did <laughs> like throwing crows at people. I do, yes. But that was the only part of the staff that he liked. He said it didn't look very legendary. Yeah. He's a hater. I, I think really it like... looks neat. I just don't have anything that's going to use it. I think the footfalls are way too unnoticeable, and they should fix that. Hmm. I think the axe is beautiful and awesome. I hate the axe. Really? I really? love the axe. I don't mind I love the axe. I don't mind if I'm just worried that your whole arm. But... I just don't like the fact that it's an axe. <laughs> I love the Fair axe. Enough. It's just, what are you going to use it on? Like a warrior? Uh, maybe a ranger? Clearly necromancer. Ne necromancer. <laughs> Necroman no, you wouldn't use it on a necromancer. Uh, yeah, it does a good point, it. actually. It doesn't really fit, does it? You're right. Yeah. Ranger, offhand. Mm. Yeah, ranger. But does it really offhand. fit with ranger, though? Does it fit with ranger? Yeah. yeah I mean, it's kind of druidy, sure. isn't it? With the, uh, It definitely fits with ranger with the zodiac armor. Uh, and, and yeah. With the celestial avatar. It's with yeah. any character with the zodiac armor. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> Um, Axe Necro has the best DPS. Did they did they take the Zodiac armor out of the gym store? Yes, they did. Oh fuck, that's horrible. It's too late. They brought it back late. like once already, so it'll be back. It'll be back mm -hmm. for New Year's. I have the heavy armor, but yeah, the uh, gun looks pretty cool too. It's Frost huge Fing, though. Frostbang absolutely fits with stuff. There's a whole fucking mm -hmm. set of weapons that matches it. Yeah, Frostbang's cool. I like Frostfang. Yeah. Frostfang is pretty Speak. nice. <laughs> what? It, there's fake Nike in the chat. Nike what? underscore Dance underscore D&T. Uh, wow. <laughs> yeah. wow. I just did the best meme of all, but no one's going to get it. Wait, what? Did, I actually didn't even hear For what you said, to be honest. I said, never mind. I'm not going to say it dope. again. To there, to, there are going to be some to EU people that get it, and they'll think it's really funny. Yeah. Hope is dope. I don't, I don't really, I don't like the pistol. I don't like it. Really? It matches Predator. The pistol is freaking amazing. Is it shoots it fireballs. Well, yeah, compared to compared to quip, like compared to quip, it's cool. It looks awesome. I, I want, want the pistol. I like quip. I love quip a lot. Quip is, is like the one that I, I really regret not having a quip. I'll trade you my quip for almost anything. Do you have one? Is it soulbound? Don't you? Yeah, it's soulbound. Yeah, the. Uh... That's me. What I think about DNT testing the raids. I already said that yeah. like three weeks ago. Yeah. Well, I'm a bit. I knew well. that they it's would fine. be doing it. So, I mean, dual wield rifles. Dual wield rifles. Dual wield rifles. It's a new specialization yeah, with a pistol. Because the pistol is yeah. gigantic. It, can it is really big. Rifles, yeah. essentially. It's big. Mm. It's good. Mm. Pistol, pistol. I think it's thief. too big, but it's beautiful. It will be a thing. Probably yeah. too large. It's the size of, like, a Stormtrooper's blaster. It's the size of the um, Whisper Secret pistol. Bigger. Mm. But thicker. Yeah. But I think about Meteor. the same. Thing. Yeah, Meteor. Oh. Um, I want it. I want it. I, I made myself a rod gourd the other day. Yeah, I saw that. In, in preparation for Berserker. Hmm. It actually fits um, really well, I guess. Although there's not that much actual burning in uh, Berserker. Not as much as I was expecting, anyway. No, you got a ton of burning in Berserker. I, you I make your own fire field. Yeah, but it it, it doesn't really... Give yourself uh, flame... whatever's. Yeah. What? Auras. Fire auras. Yeah, fire shields or fire auras. Yeah. 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 Quiplash equals resident sleeper, apparently. Resident yeah. sleeper. Hmm. When is Nemesis part two? Soon. If there's someone link Soon. a forum thread that somebody made about it. What the the Nemesis video? <laughs> yeah. For is it still? I'll read his reply. It says part two and three will be done before Heart of Thorns come out and will be released at the same time. If everything goes according to plan, and it never does apparently, I should release them tomorrow, and then I scheduled to be a part of a podcast assessing the videos on the 22nd, featuring Brazil and Teapot, and whoever wishes to challenge me. <laughs> yeah. And then he says, 
but also like to take the opportunity to once again thank all the people who send me their plays. Sorry if I didn't make it in the video, though. There's simply no way to fit everything into two videos, even, dot, dot, dot. You think I could challenge him? Yeah. If you want. Yeah. Wait. Well, Done. um, it, it may, yes. That is probably happening. There you go. Challenging. So. It has, the challenge, challenge Fake has been Nike. thrown down my... It's not gonna Nike be Nike accepts yeah. this challenge. The gauntlet is thrown It's down. not gonna be. It's not gonna be Nike. It's not gonna be Nike. He has expressed his. He's expressed himself very clearly. He has no interest in uh, talking with Nemesis, and that's fine. So don't don't harass him. Okay, guys, come on. Let's let's remain remain somewhat sensible. It's not gonna be Nike. Okay. <laughs> so who is it gonna be? Well, I, I've. It may be Daroya. Daroya disagrees with them, uh, and oh. is is a PVE guy. So, but and he hasn't done part two and three yet. So they'll yeah. be out. He says they'll be out tomorrow if everything goes hmm. according to plan. He said that four hours ago. No, no, it's okay. not. It's not confirmed, Daroya. I've spoken with him, and he said he might be interested in doing it as long as there's no uh, character assassination. Uh, against people in it. He has no interest in talking about that, and that's absolutely fine. But, depending on the content of the videos... There is uh, going to be character assassination. Yeah, no, no, but I mean, if it's possible to separate the two, because from what I understand, yeah. Part, oh, yeah. part two is going to be character assassination. Uh, yes? And yes. part three is going to be kind of his point, right? Yes. So... <laughs> What? He's devoting an entire video just to character assassination? Yeah, and it's probably going to be like half an hour long. I thought you said oh 45 God. minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Should do deathmatch, whoever wins deletes their character. <laughs> oh wait, whoever Who wins? Yeah. Whoever wins. <laughs> <laughs> didn't, didn't somebody do that and they were supposed to delete their character and they didn't? I don't know. I thought, I thought there was a duel or so, somebody... Two people duel, and they were supposed to, one of them was supposed to delete their characters, and they didn't end up doing so. Mm. It was like a year and a half ago or so at this point. Never mind. Mm, that sucks. I heard that Wooden Potatoes just died in his... Guardian. What? Guardian. In, in yeah. real life? Good fuck him. I hate Wooden Potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> off, off topic, but oh, how many boy. times has he succeeded in his challenge? Do we know? Do you know, Bootspur? I have no idea. I know he, he I know streams the when I'm at work. I can't watch any of it. Yeah, I know the Necro, he was successful, but I'm not sure on the others. Mm. Mm. Thinks we'll do it. <laughs> I'll duel anybody and delete characters. It doesn't fucking matter to me. Yeah, you, you just do it anyway. You? you just delete them anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got a warrior who's itching to get deleted. Who wants to duel? <laughs> Unless I don't... As long as I don't have to delete mine. Then... No, no, if you lose, you have to. That's no, that's not happening. <laughs> I'll make a PvP character and then we'll duel. There has to be real loss there. Is Nemesis I'll streaming? Put, I'll put like I don't know some. Someone was spamming his Twitch. Channel. Level eighty exotic on it or something. Okay. If everything goes according to plan and never does, apparently it should. Okay. Yeah, yes, that's the quote from the thing. Yeah. Hey, Dorora's here. I yes. didn't know that. Yeah, he's been here. Yeah, he's been oh, here for okay. some time. Uh, I think we've, to a certain extent, we've exhausted some things, but we still have a, a little bit of time left. So, if you've got any questions you want to ask us, or dank memes you want to mention, I need to go check on something. It's a damn good right time. Back. Perfect. Okay. That will allow the the yeah, questions to flow questions. in while you are checking on something. Mm -hmm. Ask your questions with exclamation mark question. Space question. Yeah. Uh, Your question. Quiplash Gosh. now. Uh, we're not playing Quiplash today. We are not. We're not going to do that. It's Rex's birthday today. Happy birthday, Is Rex. It? Happy birthday, Rex. Where's Luke? Yeah. Where's Luke? What? Yeah. Luke? The the Star Wars new Star Wars poster came out today. Ooh, oh yeah, no Luke. There's no Luke. He dies. What? <laughs> it's confirmed. <laughs> what? Rip. Would that really surprise you? Um, it was old anyway. Well, it would surprise me because didn't they like write a bunch of books or something? The books don't matter. Okay. 
Fair pretty, enough. Didn't they come back and say like the books uh, don't matter anymore? I think they did. Yeah. So anything could happen. Mm. Yeah. J.J. Abrams likes doing that, like alternate timeline Star Wars, uh, Star Trek movies. Restless. I will play uh, Game of the Year 420 Blaze it on stream at some point. I will do that. Don't worry. That's the game you sent or me, Mark isn't it? Campbell. Yeah. I forgot about you sending me. What are these Frank Aziz? Seriously. What does Frank Aziz, what does Frank Aziz represent? It's a dog. It's a dog. Is that it? Well, it, it, like, yeah. It doesn't mean I know Kappa means like you guys suck. What does Frank Aziz mean? Kappa is just trolling, kind of. It's like sarcasm. yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. sarcasm. Yeah. Frank Z is just a meme. It doesn't yeah. mean anything. Yeah, and it's Zach's okay. favorite meme. His favorite. Um, yeah, he really loves that meme. Uh, Daroya oh, puts should, in a question. Uh... Notice me, senpai? Question mark. Boots. Boots is Daroya's senpai. Yes, I notice you. There you go. You've been noticed. Uh, do you think they will influence in a bad meta way? What What's the context of that question, Terry? Terry Hesticles. What is the context on that? Literally, the question is, do you think they will influence in a bad meta way? What does that even mean? Us? Do you think we will influence in a bad way? <laughs> that's the whole question. I just read it out verbatim. What does that even mean? I don't know. It's read it again. Forty-two. Forty-two. <laughs> uh, Twitchy. Oh, thank you. Information of all Twitch emotes. I need that. Okay. I'll learn that. This later. is something for you. Oh, actually, no. This is this only really affects Brazil, I guess. Oh, okay. What, what will you do if Donald Trump wins the GOP nominations? I'm voting for him, so I'll probably celebrate. Sweet. There we go. I just want to see him win, so we're all we're all fucked. <laughs> Some people just want to see the world burn. <laughs> Okay. Uh, hi, I'm new to this game. Does Guild Wars 2 have good endgame content? I heard the final boss, the Abjured, has never been beaten. Okay, right, okay. <laughs> nice meme, bro. Uh, <laughs> 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 uh, do, 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 do. I almost thought that was legitimate. Uh, <laughs> uh, Brazil, can you confirm you'll be playing a, a best of seven against Nemesis in Yu-Gi-Oh? Uh, that's not going to be happening as far as I'm aware. <laughs> Uh, Raguchi25, or however you pronounce that, says, Do you think all four of the new maps will be meta event chains like uh, Dry Top and Silver Wastes? Yes. 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 Yeah. Yes, I do. But hopefully they're all different in some way. Mm. And they're I, supposed I, to be different. I think they're going to be more advanced than what we've already seen as well. Even more. I do too. I think that'll be good because that'll yes. get people used to raids. Yes. It's going to be more sophisticated. You're going to have to be more coordinated to get the best out of the maps. Uh, yes. That can right. So do you think that will divide the player base? No. no well, of course it will. Everyone hates everything in this game. <laughs> People are going to go, oh, it's too hard. I can't do it. And no, I don't mean that. I mean, I mean, because, you know, everybody farms Silver Race right now, but before that, everybody farmed Dry Top. Um, well, they still do. Yeah. Well, less so. sort of. what's going to happen is so, people will do it for 10,000 hours. And they'll post a massive spreadsheet, and then people will say, "Well, this is better now. Let's go do that." Uh, it yeah. just—it's it's just going to take people time to do the research to find out what's the most efficient way of farming stuff. Hopefully, each individual map will have its own unique rewards that we'll have a reason to. to go to. Yeah, has to. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. There'll be unique skins, probably, or well, yeah, yeah. Oh, stuff like that. What? Uh oh. Well, Someone's well, asked a question about trading cards and a color printer, which I could answer, but I'm uh, not going to do. I actually have some. I, I have some cards that are custom printed, that are very, very relevant to that topic, but I'm not going to show them off mm. because we'll get banned on YouTube. It's probably very we, difficult to, very difficult to fake these sort of things, right? They're they're not supposed to look real. They're just like full art cards mm. because, like, for example, this Proxies. one. Yeah, exactly. Like, the picture, like, the artwork takes up, like, 60% of the card. It's not the, f like, for example, you could have one that's, like, it's just the arm, but it takes up the whole card and the picture's bigger. So, yeah, yeah. it's just, like, a it's just like a really cool-looking proxy. Yeah. I'll get one out. I'll, I'll get, like, one of them out. Very they, common in Magic. Yeah. Yeah, but usually in Magic, they have better artwork. Oh... oh. Uh, Next question. 
Let's see, yeah, uh, follow up to my last question. I think dry top and silver waist are super boring after and you grind I don't have six any. million eight hundred and twenty three times. I hope they are better. <laughs> I don't know what well, other way to put it. Oh I mean well, I if you're grinding for six million eight hundred and twenty three times, probably anything is going to be boring. Yeah. And mm. it, it doesn't matter how well designed or how cool the maps are, once you've done it for the fiftieth time, time long time. You know, yeah. it's not yeah, it's not going to be as much fun, but it can be enjoyable if you do it infrequently. You maybe if you do it one, you know, a few times a week or something, you can stay fresh for a pretty long time. I think. Yeah. Did Wait, Matt on, what... Tavish? Did you just did you just make that? I think you did. Wait, did he? That's good. What's Matt Thank Tavish? You. What is this? Did he just put Luke in? Wow. He did. He totally put Luke in there. It's pretty <laughs> good. That's not bad actually. <laughs> Okay. Uh, are you guys very open about being filthy role players? How can I? Uh, wait, as you guys are very open about being filthy role players, how can I improve my role playing Guild Wars 2, especially facing the upcoming fractal chains? How do I keep up with uh, level 100 role players like oh, you? Oh shit! There's Silica John this the whole time. Ew. Um. Well, what you do is you join Tarnished Coast. And uh, you sit in Lion's Arch, dancing usually naked on top of some sort of table. And uh, whenever somebody comes close, you say, I am a lowly something boy. Please dance with me. And then okay. they'll come dance with you, take off their clothes too. And then you go to the, uh, what's it called? The, um, the wedding chapel and you get married. Okay, interesting. Okay. That's how you role play. That's that's not how you role play, isn't that? I don't know. I'm flying on the 18th though, so I'll have to see Star Wars when I land mm. at night. Clerics or celestial it's coming out the 18th. Clerics or celestial Clerics? for supporty tanky guardian. Uh, what? I'd probably play zealots. Honestly, zealots. zealots the name just match matches like thematically. There you go. Uh, any more questions? <laughs> Where did, that, where, did that, where did that dude's blonde hair go? <laughs> he had a very quick haircut. So. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, were there any more mm. questions? I don't think there were. I think that's it. Je t'aime aussi, Abe. Uh, well, if you want the toughness for aggro, well, then you take toughness, I guess. Yeah. Uh, There's yeah. a fun fun build for that that I'll be talking about. I'll be making mm -hmm. it not for Guardian. Is this it, is a really fun toughness build. Is it? Is it, is uh, it uh, engineer? I'm not gonna spoil it. Oh. It's engineer, isn't it? Subscribe to Brazil's YouTube channel to find out. Just say yes or uh, no. I'm not Just gonna spoil it. Engineer, it's yes. engineer. It's yes. totally engineer. No, it's it's Reaper. <laughs> Wait, you already made the engineer toughness build though. What? The, the flamethrower <laughs> that you oh. just said. Juggernaut. I, I, I'm not going to spoil it. Alright, fine. Mm. Uh, <laughs> Why doesn't Guild Wars 2 add a trading card game? That would add tons of endgame. And ways to spend your gold on the TP Kappa. Ah, New Vegas had a card game in it. A trading card game. Oh, yeah? Caravan. It was pretty cool, too. Do you think they'll ever... I, I think I asked this before. Do you think they'll ever make a trading card game in Guild Wars 2? Or I doubt would, it. I, yeah, yeah. I, I very much doubt that. Mm. Uh, okay, here's a real question. Which With which class will you play H.O.T. at first? Reaper? Necromancer? Or Reaper. Reaper. Reapermancer? Mm. Definitely. Can Cancermancer. First, I would probably first... Ooh... Yeah, well, I have to level my revenant though at some point. Tomes. Yeah, do they do say that those aren't gonna work? Oh wait, no, did tomes they? work? What? Tomes will work. Yeah. Why would they not make that work? Because they want uh, you to experience they... world completion again. I do oh, have. Oh, I, I have a question. Did they ever confirm that you have to unlock the elite specialization after the others? I believe you. You do, but. I haven't been able to find an official post, so okay. I, yeah. I couldn't tell you one way or another. But Twitch but... chat does seem to think that that is the case. They, we've been told that a lot of times. 
Yeah. We still don't know how much that's going to cost. You know, it was data mined a long time ago, like it was 175 or something, or 170 or whatever. But then it was another, what, 40 and 40, so it ended up being 250 or whatever for total, but I don't know. We'll know in five days. We certainly will. Uh, yeah. I think that's going to be about it, isn't it, guys? I think so, yeah. Kind of wraps it up. In that case, we will end in the conventional way of good old-fashioned self-promotion. Uh, uh, Boots, you go first. Hey everybody, I'm Boots Bear from World of Enders. Uh, I might eventually start making videos again, so follow me on YouTube uh, at well, the World of Enders. It's just World of Enders slash the YouTube slash dot com slash World of Enders. And also, I'm on uh, Twitter and at Bootsper, I think. Or no, at World of Vendors. What is it? Do you guys know? Wait, I don't fucking know. <laughs> We're all, uh, it's World of Vendors, uh, Twitter, and YouTube, okay. and I'll find and, Twitter. Real and fast. Twitch it's is Bootsper. World of Vendors. Twitch is Bootsper, isn't it? Your, your Twitch Twitter is, is World of Vendors. Yes. Yeah, and just like put two of every letter, basically, if you wanna. Mm. If you wanna figure out what. How do you spell boots? Yeah, it's just trial and error, isn't it? Really, you just yeah do a few doubles. Just follow, just follow boots for yeah. Okay, like this. Oh, yes, like that. Inks, who are you? Tell us about yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm MMO Inks. You can find me on YouTube, Twitch, and Twitter at MMO Inks. Nice and simple. I've been doing a lot more. Well, I started streaming again. So, uh, more of that stuff. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay, anyway. Mm. And Brazil. Lastly is yeah. Brazil. I am Brazil. The simplest way to find me is to go to Google and type Brazil GW2. But if that's too much work and you're already on YouTube, you can also search for Brazil GW2 there and you will find me there. You can tweet me on Twitter at Brazil GW2. And if you want to watch me live stream, I stream on YouTube. So you can just search for Brazil GW2 on YouTube and I'm I'm there. When do you usually stream? Fridays no. and Saturdays. Okay, cool. At, Boom. Did, during the day or? Around reset. Okay. There you go then. Uh, last I'll, one. I'll, Even... I'll, I'll be streaming when Art of Thorns comes out. There you on go. YouTube. Be sure to tune I will in. watch and play. Mm. And even last, even more last than last. Is someone me. says, "Oh, real quick before you go, someone says they're going to send me a great saw." Oh, no way! You have to wow. You have to shave your beard. Why you better you? do it. <laughs> don't tease him. You don't don't tease me. Well, his this name is, is Rum Power. I believe him. He might and Profate. 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 Wow. Oh, this... I'm looking at the wrong person. Yeah, Profate. Rumpo. Rumpo is not going to fucking give me a great this song. This guy is honestly streaming, and there's like loads rum. of MLG stuff <laughs> all over it, and he's sponsored by loads of things, and it's this is just a dank meme stream. I'm definitely hosting this. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. yeah. Well, anyway, yes. You could, if you enjoyed this, you can actually follow this stream. Fun fact, uh, you can get your daily dose, well, not daily dose, weekly dose of dank memes uh, and hilarious e-drama here, live on Twitch, so be sure to follow. It's definitely worth your time to move your mouse cursor down to the bottom of the screen and press follow. And I sometimes, on Saturdays, he, makes a, he, he does a new meta PvP, and I yeah. think next week... Unless, wait, no, you can't play on Saturday next week. Oh, I'm, shit. I'm not, I'm not here next week. Oh, man. It's, um, what? Oh, we've yeah. been over this before. That's right. You're, you're getting locked up. Mm, I'm getting locked up and killed. But, yeah. okay, because that would Feels be like bad. the perfect time to... <laughs> yeah, it would. To be, good... become new meta. Oh, man. It's, it's really bad. Oh, well. So wait, do we have a show on Sunday? Yeah, I'm really? back in time. Okay. I'm back in time, but... I'm away on Friday and Saturday, and most of Sunday. Who the hell says Guild Wars 2 is launching? I think I'm going to go away for the whole weekend. Uh, Who does that, Teapot? I uh, would normally It was that. arranged before I knew the launch date, so... <laughs> it feels really bad, man. Sunday, actually, I think I'm gone. Mm. You're always so, gone, though. You don't even, I don't know why yeah, you have a house. Who gives a fuck? Fuck you. <laughs> 
I don't know why you have a house. You should just live wherever. Do you actually have a house? Hmm. An apartment. Oh, okay. Whatever. Yeah. Same thing. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you, you, live, you live the active life. You shouldn't even have a house. Mm. You should just whatever. Uh, have a Roam free. Mm. God. <laughs> An igloo. Mm. An igloo. But there are loads of things to do. Live in igloos. So. Oh, did I miss the discussion regarding guilds having private beta access? Yes. You did. You did. You did. You did. Um, it was a good. It was a good one. Cringe fists or riot. I'll give the cringe fist to the stream. Oh god, there we go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> come on, boots, you have to do one. Do it. <laughs> Inks, come on. Inks. Why do is it. Inks gonna do it? Do the cringe fist. I'll do one. I'll do two then for Inks. I'll do. <laughs> like mm. I'm in the dark. I have no idea what the hell you guys are even talking about. <laughs> D and D is getting world first, boys. Mm. There's loads of things you can click on below. You can get the YouTube. You can get the Twitters. There's links to everyone here as well. Oh, on the side, damn it! Oh God, failfish. Uh, never mind. You just don't go over to the other side. There's nothing to click over there except Twitch chat, actually, <laughs> uh, which is actually very entertaining. But that is going to be all for now. There's going to be a, a dank tea time uh, in the week as well. With the Nemesis thing. A special thing. one. Mmm, a special tea time where we're just going to indulge ourselves in funny e-drama, uh, probably. It will start out well and it will just descend from there. Into madness. Into madness. Uh, but yeah, that's all for now, guys. This, you can it, I stream quite a lot. You can see all the things. Yes. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. Bye! Bye.